hello viewers today we're going to see how to implement the record field validation uh, here I am using the MEC application so normally if you are aware with web forms uh, so how to use the record field yes you can use the record field validator and you can point to the particular text box and but here I have a login page okay so um, I done my views completely so this is my views with strongly typed with models so index model view that are actually I am using the mm, login uh, view model inside the index view model so what is the index view model contains we'll check so index view model contains two properties one is the login view model instance and registration view model instance here I'm using only the login model instance to get my uh, view build for login page so that uh, that model is here so here I I have a, a class with the uh, properties email password everything so uh, I want to do some validation see uh, if I, I do the login I must enter the email and password to uh, go ahead the next step but here uh, my validation is not happened so I just uh, submit it so without entering uh, it's go on hit at my post method so that throws me the error so how to avoid this uh, by keeping the validation it's very simple so you go ahead uh, go uh, to the login view model and add an attribute called record field validation so this is the attribute called record the default annotation is providing um, to validate uh, the f field is uh, you must enter the record field okay so that is what all about copy and uh, for the all uh, you you must uh, you need for password and email both so again go and build my application okay uh, my application is built again go and refresh the page So what I did is uh, I just added one uh, record uh, <coughs> attribute. So uh, this is uh, from the uh, helper data annotation that already I referenced here. Uh, it's a system dot comp component model data annotation. So this will uh, help us to validate now. So uh, page is completely loaded. I even build my application. So let me try login. It throws me the model post in the dictionary login, but the dictionary could uh, okay oh, okay some some other issue will fix that okay okay my post method has some issues let me go on to remove such a conditions because we don't uh, going to discuss what post action going to do I just to remove all the stuffs Mm, and here see I am using the index v model but actually uh, uh, but I am uh, it's uh, asking me for the login so that's what all about okay let me build again okay I just uh, cleaned my code okay I clean up my code uh, so um, yes uh, application is built so let me go and refresh my page again now I try to click the login 
yes it throws me the validation that email field is required password field is required so uh, what uh, yummy c is go uh, doing is that uh, so it's doing the model validations uh, it will go on to do the post uh, see if you that model enables the model contains any data annotation attribute it will uh, before going to post that if you hit my post action it will go and validate and it will throws the error <coughs> so this error you can customize as well so how to customize it's very simple go to the model which you are using okay that is a login oops yes so here you can uh, write your custom message as well error message equal to email required so something like that to make the difference so uh, normally the default error it throws that email field is record but now I just uh, put the error messages called email is record okay let me rebuild again just to refresh the page now uh, try the login yep so uh, my custom uh, validation message is appearing here so hopes you understand this is the way to validate or uh, the record field validation so normally uh, we are discussing now uh, from the model uh, data annotation uh, way uh, so this will MEC will really help us to handle in the view so that a uh, model uh, you can uh, use in any places to get it uh, this benefit so you can customize this error message even dynamically you can uh, take it in the database you can pause it or you can add in a web configure or some configuration file and you can map that so a lot of way you can do it yes hope you understand so you can go and try this uh, yes this will work really in MEC application it's very simple process so uh, you please add the data annotation uh, namespace then it, this will really work so don't tell that they are this it's default if you uh, uh, build a MEC application yes you will get the names first default you can use that otherwise you can install the data annotation as well so that is uh, the namespace mm, which you uh, have here the system dot uh, component model data thanks for watching the video guys please subscribe our channel if you not subscribed before